back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Make no mistake. But I guess I could. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Say helped me a lot with that one, though I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial body bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyways. And she's more fun to hang around with too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A Brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. One big Brantini for Stella. that. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not, ta I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. <laughs> but man, that's a scene I can't forget. So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. I an item? What kind of item? A couple, say. Oh! I d yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. <laughs> Damn. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends. Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. 
the kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. Ugh. But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting though, he was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets some um, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one too. On it. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's... Oh, dimming the light. Huh. I guess she had too much before I came. See, I was just thinking that she's had a lot to drink. Kinda. Well, that and she must still be tired from the whole bank thing. She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say was, is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know. Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods favor, I think. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time meeting her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, say. Let's get hamburgers and go home. Yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim. Welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and ended up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Sunshine cloud for Kim. So... Uh, let's not do op or let's not do commercial. Uh, on the rocks.
here. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Maybe alcohol would have been better. Don't you have... Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. Oh my god, I feel that. I feel that so much. I feel free. Free? It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out to put it mildly. What are you going to do and all that? But I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something? Something big and bubbly, huh? doing the sound thing. Weird. Here. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. I gotta ask though, how did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. <sighs> Too much pressure from my family. It's a real, it's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then, at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, um, g give me a, er, something. Something? So, sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. She asked for uh, something. Literally. I've made so many of these. You'd think I'd remember without having to look. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy. 
but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Joe. Please come again. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? Wh why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. <laughs> are you fucking shitting me? Come again? To put it simply, don't... <laughs> Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. <laughs> what do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there will there will be any <laughs> water in it. <laughs> God damn it, Donna. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human or humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. <laughs> Please take care of me. Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself. Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. <laughs> oh my god.